Hello, we're here at Class 1 Equipment, and this is the demonstration video for ID 3811, which is an Oxford Plasma Lab 100 ICP etcher. The system's been fully refurbished and it's running well now. It's got a single load lock chamber, the ICP 180 head, it's capable of uh, 6 inch wafers or smaller. Includes the cryo table capable of negative 150 degrees to 400 degrees Celsius. Helium backside cooling. It's got two generators an AE RFX 600 and an AE RFX 3000. Alcatel turbo pump. And let's take a look around. It's just finishing up a test run now. Wait for in the load lock. Just tempt it up to 200 degrees. Looks like it overshot to 202. Turbo pump controller. The system is coming with an Nest Lab HX150 chiller. This is a water cooled chiller, and the set point is 15 degrees, and it's controlling to 15 degrees. Here's the chiller connections, output to the tool, drain, and the input chili water. House water. System power box. This system includes two labeled wet pumps running Fomblin oil. Load lock and process chamber backing pump. Here's our laboratory settings, and you can see we don't have any cooling connection for the electrode. Now, this can be liquid nitrogen with the inclusion of this solenoid, which switches on to keep the keep the uh, electrode cool. Air input and output, water circuit. We're just simulating helium with air. We've got the chamber heaters. Gas box, we've got the cover off so you can see the six MFCs installed. New gas lines, rebuild MFCs. System controller. We just ran a test run on this wafer. We'll go ahead and run it again. We'll go to process chamber. Actually, let's go to process recipes. This is our test recipe. It's just a quick two step recipe with RF applied at 40 and 1500 watts, and then 50 and 2500 watts. And we'll click run. It'll ask me if I want to rerun the wafer. I do. All right. Wafer will load into the chamber. Slit doors open. Robot motion. Probably can't see in here, but the clamp will rise. Wafer is handed off to the pins. The robot is back out in the load lock. Okay. The recipe has started. We're flowing 75 SCCM just of air through the O2 and MFC, controlling to 10 tor or 10 millitor. RF is applied. You have 40 watts on the 
RF generator, 1500 watts on the ICP generator. You can see the temperature is holding still. Uh, backside helium pressure is set to 5 torr and is controlling well. This is just a 2 minute step. Then we'll jump into a 5 minute step at a higher power. Come around. See a nice bright plasma. During refurbishment, the entire system is torn down, cleaned. All required parts are replaced and inspected and tested. Reflected power is about one and a half percent full scale. Gas flow is rock steady. The system does not have an endpoint detector, so the endpoint on this run has been disabled. Eight more seconds and the power will step up to 2,500 watts with 50 watts on the, on the flatten. Okay, tuned out nicely. Now this step I set for five minutes. We've gone as long as a 10 minute run using the same power setting. And I still don't see any rise on my temperature gauge. settled a little bit. This chiller is externally powered, so it needs to be plugged into the wall. The pumps, however, run off the 
local power box power. Thirty seconds left. Temperature is still steady at two oh two. Finished. The robot's going to fetch the wafer. And as you can see, the wafer has not moved from its positions on the locator pins. That tells me it wasn't sliding inside the system. Thanks for watching. Once again, this is the demonstration video for Class 1 Equipment's ID 3811, an Oxford 100 ICP system. Thanks for watching.